Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Zen Bluster, and today we are taking a look at the Lord Spirit. There you go. <laughs> One of the weirdest kits uh, recently. So, uh, sorry guys, it's been a while since I've posted, but I've been very busy with work. I essentially work like six days a week now, and uh, I recently also went on vacation because of, well, I needed one. So, okay. Um... So after that, essentially, I've been looking at these kits recently. I missed a few, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at them now. And this one is one of the weird kits where they said that it's not really going to show up in the U.S. market. Um, I'm not sure, but um, that's what I've heard. So it looks like, you know, in Japan they have it. And I think there are other countries that have it too, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll just go ahead and take a look at this kit for what it is. It was... Um, essentially um, given to DXN provisions as a present and I'm not entirely sure who it was but uh, thank you again for giving this to us so we are able to um, show this kit to you guys so all right let's go ahead and take a look at the side for a little bit first item number 19801 1200 yen so <clears throat> that's one of the things that's confusing to me is because it's a one part number so it sounds like it's supposed to be a wide release kit but it has these like um, Lord Spirit exclusive parts and I think this is based off of what uh, new manga is supposed to be releasing in terms of the type of content and the design so let's take a look at what's inside so those translucent parts seem to be exclusive to this kit at least that's what they're saying let's look at the material it looks like it's just the uh, <coughs> take a look at the regular ABS but it's a translucent like what color does it say it is um, teal I think it's teal at least to me it looks like it's teal it looks doesn't look like blue or like it's probably what you would call like a bluish green so teal um, yeah so it has interesting translucent parts very exclusive basically these are new specific apparently to the lord spirit i i don't think it's just gonna be specific they're probably gonna print these other parts in a separate uh part kit or something like that so these look like the stabilizers that you could put on the car and then this is the like a rear brake plate kind of installed like that from this way and then this is going to be like a rear roller pretty much like a you know the the high rollers from the back of the VZ or the FMA. I think FMA has that too. So that's pretty cool. And then these are, what are these, attachment points. If you need to lower your brake or something like that, that's actually pretty interesting that they included uh, stuff like that. So that's cool, it's pretty nice. Okay, so this is the Lord Spirit body. And uh, it looks like it's ABS as far as I can tell yep white ABS I don't think anything is um, super unique to this particular body other than it's just a new design which is actually pretty cool interesting kind of reminds me of like an older design of the original Thundershot or something like that with like a weird shape here or that part that connects to this side I don't know kind of interesting I like it actually pretty cool um, let's set that aside. Let's look at the chassis real quick. Looks like this is also another ABS chassis. This one is in black, which is pretty cool. I like that they chose to go with black on this chassis. Right there. Very good. And then, looks like they have just the regular slick tires right there. Nothing too out of the ordinary with that. And these are actually one of the coolest things that they decided to put on this kit. They have the new dish type wheels. These are, of course, the narrows and then the wides. And then these are large diameters. So that's actually pretty cool. But, you know, people have been racing with the mediums instead. So I don't know why they chose to go with large. But I guess it's just based on the design of the car, essentially. So this is pretty cool. A newly designed wheel set. So I'm actually looking forward to Tamiya releasing more of the parts for um, this one in particular or maybe they should make um, more dish types specifically for the smaller diameters because um, that's what everybody is using nowadays instead of the large ones and let's look at this 
Just the regular parts that come with the kit. Uh, they gave it a 4.2 to 1 gear ratio instead. And then it looks like a Mabuchi. Is that a Mabuchi? Yeah, that's a Mabuchi motor. It looks like if it's for Japan specifically or exclusive to Japan. I don't know. Maybe they just put Mabuchi um, on some of the kits that are made in the other places. Because this one is a... Let me see if I can show you guys where it says that. There you go. Made in Japan 2021. So there you go. Generally, or like, it's more likely to get a Mabuchi motor if it's made in Japan. So that's good that that's included with the kit. All right. <clears throat> and then here, the the other A parts, essentially. The black A parts. That's cool. They, they chose to go with black with this one as well, too. Um, ABS, as you guys can see over there in the upper left corner. That's good that they chose that. And I think that sticker sheet's going to be pretty small because you can tell that the body's actually quite tight. There isn't a lot of extras that are added onto the kit other than the main um, difference, which is the translucent, like, bluish-green parts, essentially. And then let's look at the uh, manual. Nothing too crazy. Basically the booklet style manual. The new one that they did. Where it kind of folds out nicely. And then there's tech tips included as well too. So I don't think there's anything new. Other than the new part installation. So let's take a quick look at that one. Right now. Basically that's the biggest unique thing of this manual. Is the additional. Um, uh, what do you call it. Instructions for that. So this one is normal, it just tells you where to get that particular translucent piece and then install it as a roller right there. And then over in the back, so let's go back up top. You could tell that the V5 is actually like a riser or like you can change the orientation or use a different part or something like that. And then that allows you to mount the brake on that piece and then there's um very slight under guards i think underneath from what i can tell oh no those aren't under guards those are like uh, mounting plates for the actual stabilizer itself that's cool and then that's pretty much it nothing else is too different from that one all right guys so we are gonna go ahead and rate this kit in terms of its value collectability and upgradability so for value, um, I don't know exactly how much was paid because, you know, someone has to pay for it and then give this to DXN. Um, but um, nothing too crazy about this kit other than maybe the um, these. Sadly, it's hard to tell whether or not they're going to make more of these. I, I'm not 100% sure. So for now, I'm going to give the value a 7. I don't know how much was paid, but I have a feeling it was actually more than the 1200 yen that's listed on the side of the box. With these types of kits, it seems like it's kind of a little bit harder to come by. So I would guess um, this was a little bit pricier than it actually says on the side. So for that one, a 7 is fine. For collectability, I'm going to give it a 10. Um, a couple of firsts, basically. Um, the new wheels. These are the first time that they do these wheels, so that's always a good thing. Whenever there's a new first printing of the part, always good for collectability. And then definitely these parts tree, the these uh, what do you call? It? I don't even know V parts. <laughs> that's right, that's funny. V parts. So these V parts are new uh, to this kit, uh, and then also of course to the mini four wheel drive hobby. So. That's always a good thing for collectability. So that maxes that out at a 10. And for upgradability, um, it's VZ. So it's actually already a pretty good chassis to work with. Um, but sadly, it doesn't include uh, the other stuff that I would rather like get. Which is, you know, like medium diameter wheels or something like that. With um, super hard tires or like low friction tires or something of that like. For me to give it a little bit of a higher score so for upgradability it's gonna get a seven for me and um, all in all when you average that out that is an eight for the kit overall all right so there you have it guys this has been my 
unboxing and overview of the Lord Spirit. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Go race. Thank you.